Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video you will be seeing me and my favourite beauty blogger Jiggles recording at the NYX studio. I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to both our channels. So we're going to be starting off with our brows first. So what would I you like, like doing my brows, brows first. Yep. What about you? Agreed brows. Alright, we're going to be moving into our eyebrows first. Do you want to try out the micro pen or do you want to try out I might go with the, the, the dip brow pomade. You as well. pomade? So I already did a video on this. You've probably seen like 10 videos of me using this product and I absolutely love it. So I'm not going to use this one today. I'm going to use the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in After. Avant. 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 One says After, after Avant. And one says Avant. So and yeah. It's like an Aubrey kind of shade, like mm. a medium, like a light brown. And I'm going to be using the new NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this shade is in the shade... Which shade is this in? It's in Brunette. So yeah, this is in the shade. All right, sorry. We're ready! It's all good. Alright, so my brow pencil is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and that's what it looks like with a brush and the pencil at the front. And Jess will show you the one she's using at the moment. It kind of is oh, that yeah. shade. It's kind of matching the same shade in here and that's what I usually use on my eyebrows. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Do our brows. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my brows first. And slightly add a line to the top of my brow. And see how I'm slowly feathering on the hairs and brushing them through. I really, really like this so much better actually than this right now. Really? I'm actually liking it so much. And that's why I've got this brow pencil already, if I can find it. This one for NYX. And I don't like this one at all. Oh, really? It dies out really quickly and the colour doesn't come out really hard. Like, look, you have to push to get the colour mm. out. So it's like not very really pigmented? Yeah, it's not really pigmented. This one. Wow. You can tell already. It's it super precise yeah. too. You can see that. That's it. <laughs> okay. So you put this on your side. <laughs> and I'm just grabbing a flat angle brush and I'm going to dip it straight into the pomade. Is it giving us nice pigment? Even if you add a shadow on top of it after from this palette to give it a darker look, or go over with the brow pencil. Mm -hmm. It's really soft and it's really smooth. Yeah. Let's see how it turns out. It looks really nice. They're so just adding some extra sparse hair that I don't have to make this shape an angled shape also. And bringing my hairs forward for the front and always going back and brushing them through and same motion for my next brow so I'm really happy with this eyebrow pencil first time trying it and it actually works so so nice such nice pigment what about you how's yours going I actually really like it it's really soft I don't think it's the right shade no not the right shade yeah maybe a little bit it's really too, too light you might need to go in with an eyeshadow after that. Yeah. Easy work, it's always this compared to that other brow pencil that I've got from them. This is their new one, so it's really, really good. So are mine. I, I like making them thicker now. Yeah. And it's easier. Like you don't have to draw them on always when you're just wearing like a foundation or something on the go. Yeah. You can just have them like that. So without picking up any extra product, I'm just going to the front. Bring some extra lines in there. And I'll go through the eyebrow comb. And just fill it up. So I'm happy with this and my brows are done. And that was really, really quickly compared to, excuse me, using another brow pencil. So I'm actually really happy with with me eating this packet. It was the only way to open, sorry guys. Finally got it open. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with the NYX Conceal Correct Contour um, Palette. The other writing was in a different language and I was just about to read it to you guys. <laughs> oh my god. And that's what it looks like. 
So I'm going to be going in again, if I can open it, with that shade right here at the bottom. If you guys can see that, and I'm going to use that to clean up my brows. And just going in with a flat brush from Crown Brushes, and this one is in C15010. Crown Brushes, it's an Australian brand, and they have really, really nice brushes, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, see, if you go to the Beauty Expo, they're the kinds of brands you will see there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crayola, Morphe. They're expensive. Yeah. Oh, well, not really. Crown Brushes is pretty cheap, actually. I got brushes from the Beauty Expo for $2. Oh, wow. Yeah. $2, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely build this colour up, so it has turned out to be alright. It has, huh? Yeah. And even if you add a little shadow, if you want it to be darker, yeah, just you don't can, yeah. Stuff. I actually really like it, yeah. yeah. I think it's really like super, like, super And really pigmented. This concealer yeah. is so pigmented, I'm actually, like, really shocked. Because even the Morphe palette concealer isn't this pigmented. Morphe is a high-end brand compared mm. to NYX. The concealer is really pigmented and it gives it such a nice colour. So it's cleaning up my brows really well. Alright, so to clean up my brows, I'm going to... So this is the Mineral Stick Foundation. And it's in light medium, so I'm just going to use that to carve out my brows. Okay. And then just spreading it out everywhere and blending it through and also using this to prime your eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and dab some on my eyelid and rub it through. So to begin, I'm going to be moving in first with the Noviac, is that how you say it? Nuvachi. It's the APSP03 palette and this is what it looks like. I cannot read the name of it, it says it at the back. But it's not a hard pop palette and this is one of my favourite palettes. The first shade I'm going to be moving into is this bottom shade here as a transition shade for my eyes. With my buffing brush, and this is from the Morphe set. It's a really cool foundation stick, I like it. It's yeah, it's really good, good yeah. Coverage, coverage yeah, yeah, it does. It's covering up like... And you know, these kind of sticks, I like to burn them a little bit also, and it gets the foundation more like dripping down, so when you put it on your face, it gives it more full of coverage oh. also. Yeah, get a lighter, burn it at the start, mm -hmm. let it melt a little bit, make sure it's not too hot so you yeah. don't burn your face. Three degree burn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Makes it nice. laughs> That would be yeah, a different kind of story. Um, the lighting just went off, give us a second. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to set that trend. I'm going to on my brows with the um, eyebrow cake powder and this is in brunette. Next shade I'm going to be using is this kind of pinky tone down here. It's a seco shade in the palette. And with the same brush, just applying that into my creases also. I'm just working that through the front and not picking up any more product. These palettes are really blendable. Pigment is, it's pretty good the pigment. It can be a little bit better, but the shadows on it are really creamy. They blend out really, really nicely. Thanks. It's just the light colors that really don't come out so much on the palette. Don't you find that with most palettes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you get to the darker shades, they come out really, really nice. Yeah, so be careful not to go too nuts. <laughs> Especially with the smoky eyes. I'm mm. also going to use the NYX Avant Pop. I've got some of these two colours in here. And I'm just going to grab this neutral colour just to set the foundation that comes my eyes. Going in with a brown shade in the palette. You will tell if you have this palette, it's the only brown shade in the palette. And just with a smaller brush, I'm adding that into my crease. That skills me so. <laughs> And just slowly bending that from the top to the end of my crease to the inner part of my eyes. And I'm grabbing this colour right here as the transition colour. Then going in with my NYX buffing brush and just blending that all together. 
is cute. It's more like a, a, a pinky peach. Yeah, yeah. Like you could also use it as a blush too. Mm. I'm just going in again with a darker shade of that, or like the same brown, but making it a little bit darker into the crease. With the blending brush. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm obsessed with mix. <laughs> Look, oh, I have too many. Look, we're just sitting here. I can't make it work, so let's just make it out of the way. It's meant to be all right. Yeah. We're just, that is just sitting there in front of us, so we need to choose a lip colour from. Oh my love mix, love mix. One of my favourite drugstore brands. Not just saying it because we're literally recording you, I absolutely love their product. And BYS, Cosmetics is one of my favourites. Yeah. They're very underrated, really underrated. The Berries palette is exactly like the Modern Renaissance palette. It really? Is like the colours, the creaminess. Oh, I'm so keen to get my hands on one of those. Beauty. Oh, today is such a good thing. Mm-hmm. Unless you're responsible for them, as a And, yeah. <laughs> Again, like I applied to the other eye, just some extra colour for darkness. And kind of smoke that out. I've never used any green shadows before. Really? So. I love green. Eyeshadows especially. Yeah? It comes out so nice. They look really beautiful on dark skin. Yeah, right dark there. skin girls, yes. Like the bright greens. Mm. Mm. So you're going to go all out. For these colours, I'm using um, again the NYX Event Pop, but this is in a different palette colour. This is in oh, Art Club, so it's got some. At least there's an one we can read out. Yeah, I know the other one's too difficult. We couldn't even read it out. Nuvia, Nuviu, Chick. I'm still can't read it. I still can't read it. Well, I'm going to be moving into this palette also, and I'm going to be moving in with this green shade here and using that into my creases. I'm going to be moving in with like an angled brush. And dipping into that shade and applying it to the outer corners of my eye. This is why I like using or doing your eyes first because it's so much easier to clean up if you yes, clean it up yes. Easy. Especially before you do your foundation, it's mm. so much easier. And I reckon you get it done faster. You think so? Yeah. Because eyes are the thing that really makes it yeah. and really brings it all together. Yeah. And if that's out of the way, then the rest is just pretty much easy. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm going back into the same buffing brush that I used for the um, brown, just to give it like a buffed out effect with those shimmer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this beautiful black grey shimmery colour here and just pop that in my outer V, just to give it more of a smoky effect. And now back from my other Avant Pop palette. Going in with that darker green shade at the end and adding that into my creases also. But this time I'm going to be moving in with a pencil brush and this is from Crown Brushes also in the number C513. And with a different blending brush I'm going to go ahead and blend that out all together. She's much more to talker than I am. <laughs> I'm focused and I got my full focus on right now. Oh, oh, yeah you are, huh? You've got that full focus face. You know what? I was like that, but now that because my daughter is always in my face when I'm recording, I think I just try not to focus, so, like, not to try so much on focusing because I have to do other stuff at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So I try to, um, Time consume everything all in one time. <laughs> yeah, multitask everything, that's the word. Mm -hmm. Multitask at all. But at least she lets me record. She sit there with the brush. Yeah. And she'll try to do her own makeup. Too long. And she gets the mirror in front of her and tries oh, to do her makeup. Oh, so cute. This morning I'm getting ready to come here and she's got my makeup brush. She's pretending to put foundation. Mum, put, put, put. Like she's because yeah. she wants me. No, 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 no. Just get the brush and pretend. Just pretend. <laughs> She's going to be such a little stuck up one from now, you can tell. You reckon? Yeah. She's so bad. Very cheeky. But too smart, knows everything. Yeah. Literally. Text after another. <laughs> <laughs> 
description down below where you guys are from, what videos you like to see. Just to let you know, if you're wondering, we are family, we are related. So yeah, yeah if you, you can see resemblance. resemblance. Oh, it's oh, oh, me. <laughs> but yeah, we are both Lebanese and just has Australian in her background too. Yes, I'm a half. Yeah. Half. Little bit of a half cast there, huh? Mm. My daughter is too. She's half Lebanese, half Macedonian. Mm. My husband's Macedonian, and her uh, her partner is from New Zealand. Yep, he's so a Kiwi. Yeah, Kiwi. Gonna have Kiwi babies then. Mm. That's all. Um, next shade I'm going to be moving into is just this black sparkly shade. I'm just gonna give it more of a smoked out effect, just like Jess did with her eyeshadow. And using a flat Morphe brush, a flat brush, sorry, and this is from Mikasa Beauty in E240. It's actually so much fun playing with different shades. Different shades, yeah. You learn, like, you can learn different looks, and it's so much better instead of playing with always the same shades every day. Yeah. And like making them different. Yeah, you're comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I'm just adding this to the bottom of my corner of the crease, and then I'm going to blend it out. See, I can't do the bottom of my eyes without doing the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. I can sometimes, it just depends how I'm feeling with that look. Yeah. That way I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty adventurous. Yeah, today I am. I could go with anything, give me any colour. <laughs> so exciting being here. Yeah. Together. It's like so surreal. Yeah. We're in like a mode where... How do you say it? What's the word? I don't know what's the word today. We're just happy. That's the <laughs> word. <laughs> I totally agree with that. Oh. And I'm just buffing that out. This is from a um, Mikasa set also. This is the eye brush. Um, just the eye set. It's, um, it consists of opening packets of makeup. <laughs> so my eyes are nearly complete. My creases are done. I'm going to be going in with this light green shade for my eyes, for the center of my eyes, and then I'm going to be putting a, a green shimmer pigment on top. So, oh my god, look at this green, it's so pigmented. Like usually I always prime my eyes, like I clean it up with concealer before I put the eyelid color on to give it more of a pigment, but this literally does it's not really need. Nice. So I'm actually really happy with these eyeshadows, the way they blend it out, the pigment. It's such a pretty color. It is, it's like a rose goldy shade. Just tap on the table and bring it out. Vegas baby. Is that what it's called? Vegas baby. Pig 20 Vegas baby. Um, I'm actually shocked with the pigment in this palette, especially for a shimmer palette. It's so, so nice. It's mostly shimmer shades, but it's really, really good. So I've never used a pigment before. Pigment before? And I think I'm officially obsessed. How nice is it? Whoa, yeah, that pigment is actually amazing. amazing. It's gorgeous. Whoa. And this would work well on any other colour yeah. you've got on there. Yeah. Just bring it up some more. Yeah, well. I'm going to go uh, um, in, sorry, with the NYX Roll On Shimmer Pigment. And me, I like to take the lids off and grab the pigment from the inside of the packaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that with my tweezers. There we go. Told you it might fall out. Yeah. And mm -hmm. adding pigment into my lid just so I can grab it out. Can you guys just appreciate this for a minute? Like, Look at that glitter bar. Oh my god. It's literally sparkly. It's, I can't I can't even. It's made it look so so fucking amazing. Whoa. Just whoa. First impression guys is so far so good. Everything we've been using is coming out so so nice. Mm. So Happy, really happy. So I'm just dipping my brush into the pigment and look at that. I don't know if you guys can see. Autofocus. How fucking crazy is that? So I just cleaned up my eyes off camera just on the edges. I'm going to go ahead and do liner and apply some lashes now. Yep, come with me. I'm also going to do liner. So for liner, I've got Super Skinny Eye Marker by NYX. This is in carbon black. Making some room to work with. 
What have you guys been up to? Leave us comments down below. How old are you guys? What countries are you from? If you're viewing us, what country are you viewing us from? We already told you we're from Melbourne. I'm 22 years of age. Jess, you are? Too old to mention on camera. Too old to mention on camera. I don't think so. I'm nearly 23 years old. I'm a mother. I have a daughter who's two years old. I'm a mother to a dog. To a dog? Not to a child, to a dog. Don't get it wrong. I love my dog. We all do, huh? We all love dogs. Dogs are friendly. Dogs are company. Don't know about this. I'm finding it difficult to work with. Yeah? I like out of it a little bit. Try using my hand first. It does get like that sometimes, I reckon, to tell you the truth. Oh, so but yeah, I do it on my hand and then I go around on my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my face and I'm using the NYX Photo Ready Primer. I really like this primer, but it smells like petrol. It dead set smells like fucking petrol. I don't care that I'm swearing right now. It wow. smells like fucking petrol. Really? That's how bad it smells. But it makes your, like you can feel it so tacky on your skin that you know your foundation's gonna actually stick to it. But it stinks like petrol. Every time I put it on, I think of petrol. It smells like petrol so bad. Don't you reckon? Yeah, it definitely has a weird yeah, smell. Yeah. It feels really nice. Like it feels so tacky on your skin. Like it's a really, really nice primer. It makes your foundation actually stay on so long. But you know what? This is going to be a no-liner look. I'm thinking about it and I'm not going to use liner for my draining life. No, I don't want to put eyeliner with black and green no. because I want to put blue at the bottom. Mm. If anything, I might go with the blue liner and the lipstick colour, but I will think about that towards the end. I'm going to move into my face. So that I've primed my skin. I'm going to go in with NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in these two shades and one shade is TCD F13 and number 10 but I'm going to also add some total control drops um, in the shade what number is this what number in number four so it's going to lighten up my foundation a little bit so I'm mixing it with a darker shade throughout the video it's not sponsored <laughs> it's not sponsored at all we're just being dickheads <laughs> yeah always stay dehydrated Stay dehydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Don't be dehydrated on me, okay? Just work with me here, guys. Work with me here. I'm going to be moving in some Model Rock lashes. I know they're not NYX, but these are really amazing lashes. And I'm not too sure that NYX supplies our lashes, to tell you the truth. I don't think they do. do. And I was too scared to ask for them. Yeah. Before, so I was like, mm. I don't think they stop eyelashes. So so I've never heard of NYX lashes. Ever. No. 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 I'm just going to go apply them. So I'm actually going to apply some Models Rock lashes. These are in the hashtag D-Dubs Style 2. Oh, Style 2. Mine are in hashtag 293. Tweezers. Mm. You don't know how to do that. Oh. Lashes are my weakness. I suck at them. Mm. You know what? I can have my days where I can just chuck the lash on. And the next day it'll be like three times, four times of one my lash and one eye. It mm. just really depends. But you know what? Always freshly clean lashes apply on better than clean yeah. lashes. Because I always use the same lashes over and over again, you know? Mm. But like, let's just say it's got too much glue on it, it won't apply. Should have watched how you did that because I'm so bad at I literally just, I'll show you, I'll do the next one. Stuck? Alright. Did you put glue on it already? Yeah. The hell, woman? I just want to show you one the right way to peel lashes off too because I've never done that. Instead of actually ripping them like that, you rip the hairs out, you really need to pull, pull them down. down. And that's how you pull the lashes out. Yeah. I'll grab it. Yeah. I love to use tweezers, it makes my life so much easier. I hold it from the middle there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's so good and it stays on, like it doesn't move, it doesn't budge. Let's make sure they're kind of curled in a little bit, so holding it at an angle. That's yeah. cool. And literally. What the hell? That was so close to your lash line. 
sleep. Oops, see, that's what I meant. I'm doing this shit out of the supply. And I don't like putting mascara onto my bottom lashes until after I've done my whole look and it just goes everywhere. So, like I said, I'm going to be using the NYX Total Control Drops and also applying. That's all. Yes, the one just the thick bangs. Oh shit! I just dropped some of my pants. Um, oh, no. the, the really thick ones look like eyeliner's gone too long. Yeah. yeah. So also applying the lighter drops, and I just dropped some on my top too. The fuck is wrong with me? That's so many different. Is that three shades? That's three shades. So it's two shades. Yeah. Mixed with one that's gonna make it a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. It's not too dark. Because I really want to see how it works. I've seen it online, but I've never actually seen it work properly. Some setting spray from my beauty blender. Oh, sorry, babes. Hello. Hello. Hi, hello. How are you? Good. That's good. I'm just going to do a little bit of filming. Yeah, for sure. And just blending it out with the beauty blender. So you did make it a lot lighter. I like it. Mm. It did because before it would have been a lot more tanner. Yeah. Then it did. So it's come out really, really good. Oh, See? Awesome. See? It's like a perfect shade. Yeah. yeah. And so then mixing mix them too, and then mixing the lighter shade yeah. in it to make it a little bit lighter also. Mm. So that's really good. See? It hasn't even come out too dark. Not bad. That's awesome. I'm gonna try something new. Everyone knows how much I love my product and my pan products, which is. Is usually this um, NYX coverage concealer in orange. And I did buy this online and I haven't seen it available yet in Australia, so I'm gonna have to have a chat with them <laughs> about it. <laughs> <laughs> but what they've tried, um, they'll make it happen. You they'll make, that. It they'll make it happen. It's on camera, we have evidence. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm gonna try today is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer, and this is in medium. So, do you want to okay. sure. It actually came out so nice. The colour didn't come out. Say hi, ladies. Hi, hi. Nick's um, Instagram. <laughs> JP Makeup Beauty. Jiggles Beauty. Perfect. The correct contour palette. Using the lighter shade to highlight under my eyes. It works hand out good. It did. Yeah, it try, I reckon yeah. try that over with a little bit of that orange concealer also. You reckon? Yeah, just to give it more of a darker effect. Maybe you should have used it. I really like the creaminess in this palette, but I, I would recommend adding some maybe rosehip oil to it to give it more of an enhancement. Because mm. it comes out like really patched. Like, it, it's really creamy, don't get me wrong, but as you can see, it kind of like patches through it instead of the concealer coming out really like straight. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, see this is the orange colour that I like. So I know if when I put this on, it's, everything's going to be good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just use on one eye and not the other. And I just want to compare the difference. Compare the difference. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's such a good idea. And I'm going to be moving in with the darker shade also to contour. And I'm going to use the primer, so the next year, perfect. 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 Um, yeah, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Primer if you want to be a little bit fancy. A little bit posh. Do you like that? Because it means I wouldn't, if I never wanted to wear too much, if I didn't want to wear too It'd much like foundation. Light coverage, yeah. yeah. It would just you could well. use it as a lighter coverage. Oh I'm God, actually really soft. happy with the contour colour of it and I'm also going to use a dark shade next to it just to give it a double effect of contour just around my cheekbones so they could be very snatched. 
doesn't smell horrendous. It doesn't smell good. It just has like a weird... It's a strange yeah. smell. Yeah. Like that kind of plasticky smell. Yeah. Like when new makeup. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I always like to wet my beauty blender before going on. Uh, yeah, setting spray. I always like using yeah, setting spray. spray. Was that the one? Do we finish it? So you wet it with a setting spray? Yeah. It gives it like a nice wet finish and it sets it at the same time. Is we should use these more often. So yeah. We, actually, we learn off each other. That's nuts, man. Alright, let me try. I'm hoping it's actually So it actually blends it out really, really nicely. Cute! If you guys want to see, jump on the NYX Cosmetics Instagram and suss us out on their Snapchat. <laughs> Hearing your voice like over, it just sounds weird. Every time I hear my voice, I think, what the fuck, what the fuck? And setting it, spraying it again since I've done my highlight, and now I like to reset it for my contour. Which shade is it? Yeah. What number is it? Um, it's true beige. Try and mix it with a darker shade. Maybe that would be a little bit too dark, but... Um, what number is it? You, I've got number 10. Try, try and mix that number 10 with your foundation right now. Usually number 10 I go with, like just for my natural face. Especially if I don't want a tan colour, like number 10. Yeah. You definitely want to use it with a, a brush and not a, a... This contour is really dark. A sponge instead of a brush. Because yeah. yeah. this didn't... Yeah, it's, you, you don't sit, don't touch your face after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like really quick dry also. Wow. But it gives it such a full coverage. I swear it's one of my favourite foundations so far. How do you like it, honest? Um, uh, see if I can mix the right shade. I was, a bit, I was a bit stunned by how much it moved. Once I applied it, I put my yeah. Feet, yeah. So now that I've got my fucking whoops, did you hear me go like this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, now that I've got my contour and highlight done, I'm going to be moving into the powder part of it. And I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Like always, as you see in my videos, the first two shades I'll be using for contour are these last two shades. Just going in with my brush and applying that like so into my cheekbones across my temples, down my chin. You reckon when a guy does makeup, this is down my Adam, is that cool or? Oh. I'm not too that. You know, we say under our chin and shit. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, yeah, because I mean, they've got that. It's yeah. It's actually legit thing. I don't actually know if I like this foundation. Yeah, really? Because like I do this and like a whole section of foundation comes off. Oh my off. god. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not it's sticking, not to, sticking my face. to your face. Yeah. yeah. And then because I'm I'm a very face touch and yeah, I'm always yeah, touching yeah, my face. Yeah, if it doesn't stick, you don't like Yeah, it won't stay for you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm, like for my opinion, for my skin, it works well for me. It like the, but the everyone's skin, skin is beautiful. Yeah, the finger is flawless, but everyone's skin works different also. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Know. So foundation will work for some foundation. One foundation can work for someone, but the other one won't work for a lot. You know, someone else's face also. It's true. That's exactly right. That's always what you gotta keep. Yeah. Around. Not everything works for the same person. So just because I'm saying this foundation is amazing, it works well for me, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, for her or for anybody else. 
push it. More beauty blends, which I always like to use. And applying the bake around my face. Under my cheekbones, it gives it a really snatched kind of look. I'm just fixing my contour up. Always when baking, I like to bring it towards the upper part of my nose just so it kind of defines that nose contour also. Totally agree with that Because like when it comes like too dark, I hate it when the darkness comes here. Like at least give it some like brighter effect towards the nose. Yeah. Then you can tell that it's being contoured to the point where, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's good. So that's the cream highlight and contour palette the also. Two right? Yeah, two different shades. One's light. Okay. If your husband asks you when you're cooking for dinner, this is what I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm cooking tonight, you heard? <laughs> if you're watching, I'm cooking my face tonight. Alright, so I'm going to let that set also. And while that's setting, I'm going to go in with the blue shade from the other. Everything is set up nearly, you know, done recording this look. So going back in with that, not back in, because I haven't used that shade before. So I'm moving in with the pencil brush and going in with that blue shade. And this blue shade is going to be used for under my waterline. And this is going to pop that look out really, really nicely. So look how good that blue turned out under the eye with the green. Oh, that's so pretty. It does look nice. so nice. Can you guys see that? So it's popped the look out. And I'm gonna go in with the bottom green again for the inner part on the teardrop line. Whoa. Show me. That's what I thought too. Add some of the darker shade in this one also. Where's the other color? Try this darker, darker shade. I was gonna say it's not the same color, what the fuck? I really like this look, whoa. I'm so amazed by the shades that I use, how pigmented they are, how amazing they turned out on my eyes. I'm actually really, really shocked. This is one of my favorite brushes. I know it's not nice to be like this brush. Mm -hmm. Can we just look at it, how nice it looks, and feel it? Oh my god, that's amazing. How amazing, amazing is it? And that's a BIS brush, BYS. Oh, see, I don't know if it's proof, but it's like me. I searched it. I searched their channel yeah. on YouTube and it says BYS. BYS. And I keep calling them BIS. And like NYX, what would you say NYX? NYX or NYX? Just dusting away my bake and making sure my face is set properly. Okay, I'm going into the Strobe of Genius palette and this palette looks absolutely amazing for the highlighters. Like always, I like to set my face before applying a highlighter. It gives the highlighter more of a kind of brighter effect on your face. So I'm going to go ahead and just set my face. Just double checking that all the powder has been removed from around my face. So you put this on where? That's a light under your eyes. Instead of concealer? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like the Yeah, it's giving you really bad creases. It's not working oh, for your skin no. type oh, at all. It's yeah. Like it's not working for it at all. I can tell you how bad that's working. If you guys can see, it's not working at all on her skin. Okay. Not at all. Compared to the difference from this, like I can swipe it off and nothing comes off my face, but everyone's face works different. Just fix that because I get a fingerprint in between it. So, always setting my face before highlighter. Do you set your face before, before highlighter? Before highlighter. I think it gives your highlight more of a pop on your face. Wow. Because you, you wet your face. You know a lot of people like to spray their brushes before they apply highlighter? Yeah. So instead of spraying your brush, and you spray your face. Now, my highlighter brush, we brush like this. Mm -hmm. like I, I like to use these two, but I rather this. Yeah. And it gives it more of a nice highlighter look. I don't know which shade I want to use. Maybe that bluey purpley shade. 
Yeah, I think I might go in with that blue purpley shade to match my eye colour and even a little bit of that pinky shade. So both of them mix together. And that's really nice. It does. It actually, can you guys see? It's popping. Yeah, that highlight is really nice. So we pretty much use the same products. Product, right? Yeah. The only difference, I use the cream highlight contour palette. And I use the concealer contour corrector. Correct. Yeah. It's kind of like the shades in the um, Anastasia Moonchild palette too. If you've ever seen that palette. It's really golden and purpley, peachy. And let's just spread it out with my fingers. So it's not piled on my nose. When blending out my nose contour, I always prefer to roll my blending brush inwards into my nose. Oh yeah. And that way it's mixing in the foundation but it's not completely wiping away. Wiping away, away yeah. The contour. That's true. That's a good idea. I'm gonna try that next time. Okay. You're professional. Um, self-taught and we just can still we still learn always always yeah learn. you'll always be learning with our makeup there's no right there's no wrong there's no best person everyone has their own kind of skills in makeup and everyone learns from each other daily yeah. just watching a video like I'm, we do videos but watching other people's videos too you will learn more and more everyone does makeup in their own kind of style mm -hmm. everyone is different everyone's unique so oh my god i'm actually obsessed with this highlighter i can't stop putting it on <laughs> Okay. All right. Contour and highlight. I'm going to use the NYX highlight for the Pro palette. Um, this looks really awesome. Let's have a gaze on the try. Yeah, you missed it. Really yeah. good. What's up? What's up? I'm nearly done. I'm just going to apply lipstick and this look is complete. But before I apply lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair too. Just to give it a little brush. Make it fix this little. I don't know what kind of lip shade I should go for. Oh my god, with this green look. Mm. Like a brown? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. I don't even know. Maybe a red. Let's do it. So I'm going to be going in with the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the shade Kitten Hills. It's actually one of my favourite. I use this one a lot. I did a red eyeliner look using this colour. So. Yeah, red. Less is more. Instead of using foundation, um, correct your like correct your skin first. Orange concealer, white con green concealer, white concealer, whatever you want, mm -hmm. and then contour your face instead of a foundation. So you're using contour to blend out everything, and that's your foundation. Mm -hmm. Completing them out of your face and done. Yeah, yeah. So instead of having concealer, 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 foundation, concealer, you're missing one part and it's making it less. So yeah. your face looks more flawless at the end. And you know your vapor, um, your smile ones here. My favourite thing to do with the white shade, let it bake for five minutes and it kind of hides them away. And I'll wipe that away. Now, oh boy. Do you really use a cut like this, do you think, to set your whole face? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Decision. What decision did you just make? The highlight. I'm putting the thing under. No, I like it. You know what? Just buff it out a little bit more. Just so it can be a little bit more smoked out. Ah, just got a little bit of black in the corner of my eye. Next, white um, eyeliner and pen. It's pencil one and just apply that into my waterline. Blue. Just a few mistake. Ah. 
just got a really nice photo so. <laughs> and there you have it guys this is our completed look that we finished at the studio if you guys did enjoy this tutorial do leave a comment down below make sure to subscribe to both our channels i will leave jiggles channel down below so don't forget to check out the video on her channel also love you all